The outside sensor is reading 23 degrees Fahrenheit, but the inside one says 72. Without propane, or a diesel heater, or solar, or shore power, or a wood burner, or an expensive battery bank. Just a $179 battery charged by the alternator while driving, which also powers the full electric kitchen, lights, ham radio, and device charger. The great thing about having a recreational vehicle is that you can travel anywhere that you want to go on vacation. And we rarely want to go somewhere cold, but occasionally we go places that become cold. For example, if you've been to Florida in the winter for any length of time, you've probably uh, experienced a cold snap. Another goal is I'd like to drive to the Arctic Circle. And in September, the average lows are in the 30s. So that's the, what this heating system is for, occasional use. While it's still daylight, I move the kitchen into stealth mode. That allows me enough space to transform the sofa bed from sofa to bed. And tonight we're using a Coleman Alpine 50 degree sleeping bag. Now I have a 20 degree mummy sleeping bag that I could use, but that's a whole lot less comfortable to be bound up and it defeats the purpose of this exercise. Here I am in the Walmart parking lot. I'm just about to go to my camp spot, but before I did I wanted to start with the uh, meter. It's reading 13.55 volts. And no current or power has been drawn out uh, because right now the fridge has been operating directly off of the alternator and the bed heater's not turned on yet. So I wanted to show you that. Plus, also, I have broken my own rule and attached something to the outside of my van temporarily a temperature sensor. And this one right here is reading 41 degrees outside and 64 in the van. I've been running the heater in the van as I've been driving. So we'll keep an eye on that. Later tonight as I'm uh, sleeping, I'll put the temperature sensor, this base unit, in the nether regions of my sleeping bag. Uh, which is spread out like a comforter and uh, we'll keep an eye on where the temperature goes. I'll reset it so we can get our highs and lows for tonight. Well after nine hours in bed it is now 7.30 in the morning. We've used 254 watt hours over that nine hours. The heater is currently running at a 1.8 amps or 22.1 watts and I just switched the fridge back over to the alternator because I started the van to warm it up then I'll make breakfast having a little tea while my oatmeal cooks in the microwave. I'm not the world's greatest dad. I didn't merit that mug, but uh, this one says she loves me anyway. And over here on the meter and the monitor we see not using any battery power. This is the seat warmer I spread out on the mattress before I put on the fitted sheet. It is a warm seats waterproof seat warmer available through Amazon, but less expensive elsewhere. So I'll include their link in the description. It comes with everything connected, including the high low switch. All you have to do is connect it to power. 
It uses about 3.5 amps on high and 1.8 amps on low. I like to put it in the center so I can get closer or further, regulating the temperature even more precisely. Despite sub-freezing weather, I only needed to use the low setting unless I was just getting into bed. A few people have inquired about my electrical system, and I am working on a video for that. But it's very detailed, and I want to take my time and get it done right with schematics and examples and show you exactly what I did for my wiring. So, if you want to be the first to see it,